I'm sure you've heard of the Minecraft Far Lands, which is an error in the generation of terrain in older versions of Minecraft that really just caused things to break once you got a certain distance away from the spawn or the origin point of the Minecraft world. But did you know there's also technically a Far Lands in Roblox? It's not necessarily a generation of terrain or some kind of error like that. But it's basically when a player can get so far away from the origin of the game or the world that everything just starts to fall apart. Movement will start to break, things on the screen start to jitter, and if you get far enough away, everything will become super distorted. So I made a quick demo game to showcase this progressive collapse of the Roblox game engine. Maybe you could think of this as like different stages of Alzheimer's, but in Roblox. So here we are at the origin point of the game. This is basically uh, zero, 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 somewhere down there. And this is ground zero. And we're gonna step on this pad to teleport to the first region. So if I step on here, now we are 100,000 studs away from spawn. And so far, everything still looks the same. Nothing looks off. And I have some other parts to demonstrate that uh, once we start getting farther and farther away, these will get extremely distorted, but they look perfectly normal right now. Nothing is strange. So let's step onto our next pad. And now we are 500,000 studs away from spawn. And if you notice, if you pay attention very closely, you'll see that my character is jittering and the text on my hat is having a little bit of issues and of course it's more noticeable if I zoom in you can kind of see that my hat's like a boiling soup or something like that but for the most part everything is mostly okay and these shapes are still recognizable there's nothing too crazy going on just a bit of jittering and a little bit of distortion and you can kind of see that distortion in the text as well but it's just mostly shaking Nothing too crazy. So if we go to the next stage, now we are 1 million studs away from spawn. And if you notice, my character is not looking too good. The text on my hat is barely readable at this point. And as I move my camera around, everything is just jittering like crazy. And if you're going to be playing this, you also notice that your movement is a little bit wonky as well. My movement isn't perfect. There's a little bit of strange stuff going on as my character walks around. And we're a million studs away from spawn. And yeah, this is just, this is not right. But if you'll notice that these shapes are still basically recognizable. I mean, they're jittering more. And the sphere, especially when you get close up to the sphere, it's looking a little bit wonky. But you know what? They're still noticeable. We know this is a sphere. We know this is a wedge and a cylinder. So let's step on the next pad. And now we are 2 million studs away from spawn. You'll notice that the texture on top of this part is starting to look extremely strange. My character is now... I, I don't even know how to describe this. I just look... I don't look too good. <laughs> Movement at this point is extremely broken. Um, things are just not working correctly. And uh, as I say here, the fabric of the Roblox universe is starting to fall apart. Of course, these shapes are still, I mean, they're still okay-ish. You can see there's a little bit of some errors going on with how shadows are being rendered on these parts or maybe how they're just being rendered in general. And you can see as I get close to the cylinder, things are just really starting to distort. But we're not that far away yet. We're only 2 million studs away. We need to keep going. So if I step on this pad, now we are 5 million studs away from spawn. My character is extremely distorted. If I hold it in this particular view, I can actually read the text on my screen. And this is because, I believe this is because the direction that we're going away from spawn is on the X axis. I think on the X, yeah, we're moving away from spawn on the X axis. So if it looks like if my camera is aligned with the X axis, we don't have any issues. But as soon as I start rotating, things just really fall apart. And I'm actually not able to move along the X axis anymore. Character movement along the X axis is completely broken, but I am still able to move left to right and up and down so I can still move across the Z axis and the Y axis okay but I'm no longer able to move across the X axis and if we take a look at our uh, parts over here 
you can see they're uh, definitely starting to look uh, not okay. Our sphere is getting a lot more distorted and it's it's losing its, I guess you could say it's sphere-esque. But we're only 5 million studs away. We need to keep going and uh, let's step on the, the next pad and end up at being 10 million studs away from spawns. And I would consider this to basically be the Far Lands... In Roblox, the game is completely unplayable. I can't move only across the Y and Z axes, and things are just completely distorted. This is not a sphere anymore. It looks like a piece of cabbage or a head of cauliflower or something. And of course, my cylinder is no longer a cylinder anymore. Surprisingly, though, my wedge is doing okay. It still looks like a wedge, and that's probably because it's the most simple shape. It's just a triangle. But you can definitely tell that the game is not rendering things properly at all. But you know what? What if we decide to travel a little bit farther? What if we decided to double this distance and go 20 million studs away? Well now, here we are. We are now 20 million studs away. If you notice, if I, oh gosh, if I line my camera as close as I can with the X axis, it was actually okay for a second there. I'm really, I'm struggling to move my camera accurately because everything's just broken at this point. But uh, yeah, this is this is what happens when you're 20 million studs away. You're no longer a Roblox character, you're just a blob. And I still can't move along the x-axis. At this point, I'm like turning into like a single pixel. Um, our sphere is not doing okay. You can see that shapes are just warping. This is no longer a cube, but it's more like a, uh, I don't know, parallelogram or something. Yeah, this is this is the Roblox Farlands. This is uh this is what happens when you go 20 million studs away. Maybe this is what they do for like those Google captures where they have you read like a chunk of distorted text. Maybe they just shove it in Roblox, put it 20 million studs away and then just take a picture of it and then that's your distorted text that you got to uh, decipher and enter into the captcha. You are 20 million tuds away rom spawn Don Honk, you can read this, or this. Now you might be wondering what exactly is causing these kind of problems in the game engine, and why does Roblox get so distorted when you get so far away from the origin? Well, these issues stem from something called floating point precision errors, or basically decimals or floating point numbers cannot be accurately stored in computers because they use a different counting system than we are used to. We count in base 10, so we basically have like numbers 1 to 10, and each consecutive spot in like a number or the scale of the number represents uh, an increase of let's say 10 to the power of 1 or 10 to the power of 2, so like 0 to 9, this represents basically you could think of this as like 10 to the power of 0, so this is like the 1's place, and then if I were to add another digit, this is our tens place because if you think of 10 to the power of one, that's 10, so that's the tens place. If I add another number, then that would be considered the hundreds place because 10 to the power of two is 100 and so on and so forth as you add more and more numbers. Now because uh, computers process data through zeros and ones, they count in a base two numbering system. And some numbers just can't be perfectly represented in a base 2 numbering system like uh, we can in a base 10 numbering system. And these issues also exist for base 10 as an example would be like, let's say the value of one third. We can't accurately represent the value of one third as a decimal in base 10 because that's equal to something like 0.3333 repeating on for infinity. We have to round it off at some point because we, we don't have enough storage to store an infinite amount of numbers. Now, if you were to convert a value of, let's say, 0.3333 back into a fraction, well, that would be 3333 divided by, uh, I believe, 10,000. And that is not exactly the same as one third. So you can see how these errors also exist in base 10, and these errors also exist in base two. As an example, if I were to print something like 0.1 plus 0.2, you would expect it to print 0.3 inside of the console, but if I actually print this out, you're going to see that we get 0.3, a ton of zero, and then four, and that's because we weren't able to perfectly store 
these numbers and the memory of the computer, we have to round it off at some point. Now these mistakes are very small and they don't matter that much, but once we start getting farther and farther away from the origin of our game and numbers start to get bigger and bigger, these errors from floating point numbers will start to build up and our world will slowly start to fall apart as things get less accurate. And as you can tell, when I move my camera around, you see that, oh, whoa, I, I can almost disappear at some point. Look at that, I'm not even visible. Now, if you would like to play and see this Roblox dementia yourself, I'll have the game linked down in the description for you to check out. That's all for me in this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new, and I will see you next time.